Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one. So today, we are going to look at Mr. Owen Lee, is his name. And people call him the polite predator. I mean, I, I don't think he's well known, because he he's not that memorable, other than the fact that he was just like really, really polite. So like he takes his shoes off before he goes into the house, and he says, wow, this house is big, and it looks like a restaurant. So... They call him the polite predator, but it's like he's still a total piece of trash. But anyways, so, yeah, so this chat, chat log's pretty long. I mean, it's, hold on, let's see. It starts on the 3rd and goes all the way to the 9th. So six days this decoy had to deal with this knucklehead. And there there's some pretty good parts in here because like, there is not a lot of the gross sex talk stuff, but there is some pretty funny stuff in here. <clears throat> so he says, and he calls himself Oral O.O. Fun. And it's funny because Chris Hansen says Oral, but I think he he put Orlando Orlando Fun, I think. So, anyways, he says, Hi, Jen. She says, Hey, now, there's kind of a language barrier here, you know what I mean? So, yes, you can try and make fun of him because of his English, but his typing and his, like, sentence structures no isn't any worse than the rest of these idiots who are on here. So, like, that says something, right? So, he says, how is your weekend? It's okay. I am in Orlando. Cool. Uh... Ooh. Where are you at? Like an hour from there? Cool. So how old are you? She says, so how old are you? Oh, I'm 38. And yourself? I'm 13. Oh, okay. I am so sorry. Uh, for what? I'm too old. Oh, why? I'm just too old. If you say so, yes. I'm looking for a female. K. Okay. What are you looking for? Something to do. I'm kind of bored. Cool. What do you like to do? I like to read and hang out with friends in the beach. You? I like to talk or going to the movie and bowling. Cool. Are you off from school this mo Monday? Is this your bedtime? <clears throat> I got school. I don't have a bedtime. Cool. What, what do you like... To discuss. I don't know. Whatever. Pick a topic. Um, do you work? Yes, I do. Just make it a normal living. How is school? It's K. Boyfriend? Not now. Okay. And then here we go, guys. <clears throat> I'm looking for a female. 25 to 45 years old. Do you know any females? So he's asking... <laughs> He's trying to ask her for some some type of like love connection or whatever. What? Come on, man. What are you doing? No, sorry. Oh, bummer. Even an aunt. <laughs> I got a great aunt. How old is her? Um, like sixty. <laughs> oh, I am too young and wild for her. She's lol. Lol. Does she have a nice body? <laughs> He's asking if a 60-year-old has a nice body. Okay. LOL. LOL. What you think? LOL. Silly question from, from me. K? Question mark. Yes. Please ask anything. Was wondering what your silly question was. Oh. If she has a nice body. Yeah, kind of silly, LOL. LOL, then, it, then she might like me. I am naughty, wild. LOL. LOL, is she single? Yeah. LOL. Cool, large breasts? I don't know. LOL. LOL, you don't want her. Cool, why not? Tell me. <laughs> she's not nice to my grand grandpa. Oh, she's always saying what he does wrong. Yeah. 
I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah. Is he still seeing her? LOL. She's his sister. Okay. Can I tell you why she liked that? Ready? I don't know. She, she just is. Why acting? Why she's acting mean to him? Why? She's not getting her her needs. So he just kind of missed the, the fact that this is supposed to be her, her great aunt. That's her granddad's sister. He's like, She's not getting her her needs. People will act like like that if not getting enough needs. Oh, it's true. How long has she been without a man? Do you know? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Really? Okay. People acting like that. That that's all. If not getting the acting needs. So he's basically saying that if you don't get get laid, then you're gonna be mean to people. Which is what? Which is I guess if you look at his background, his situation is that he got married and his wife isn't put putting out, so he's you know feeling hopeless or whatever. Uh, ask your mom that question about human need. I don't talk to her much. She's far. Okay, is she in Florida? No. Okay, too far. LOL. Yeah, does she chat? Now she, now he's asking about her mom. No, bummer. Or we we can teasing her. LOL. I would come to see her and give her and give her a nice massage. She's married, silly. Oh, I was thinking she was saying single. Bummer again. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I would do stripping for her. Can you imagine this guy trying to give you a lap dance? And he keeps bringing up stripping, like, the whole chat log. So, <clears throat> I, dig I digress. Uh, I would do stripping for her. I love to do that. No harm. LOL. LOL. <coughs> I love breasts. LOL. Boy will be boy. LOL. Well, I gotta go to sleep. You can add me if you wanna. Do you have a, a webcam? Nah. Okay, we can talk another time. Okay. And he says, what's your name? Maybe I dance for you. Maybe. Just kidding. Okay. I'm joking. Cool. I'm Jen Jenna. Cool. Have you been with a boy? Like how? Intimate. Some, not all. Did he touch your... Your upper front? Not really. Hey, I'm sorry. I really got to sleep. I got school. Okay. Y you can add me if you want. Night. So then, this is the next day. Hello, Jen. Are you there? How was school? Hello, Jenna. Hey. How are, how are you tonight? I'm Kay. You? Did you get enough rest la last night? And the thing about these guys when they're trying to he doesn't give a shit about school and I mean her school and all this stuff. This is just him trying to groom and and, and make it seem like like he actually cares. And then he says, "Who who who can you hook me up with? I need a female." LOL, nobody. Bummer. I need a female that need the attention a lot. You want an old lady though. Or young. Oh, need someone that let me... Yeah, anyways. Uh, I like to make breasts firm. Okay. <laughs> Is your mom... Does your mom need a pal? I don't know. How old is she? She's 33 and lives far away. And she's married. Oh. Who are you staying with, dear? Grandpa. I thought I told you. So he's not a fan. Attention to the conversation. Oh no, do you miss mom? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm okay. That's good. Yeah. Ask me anything that you'd like, please. I am very open about boys. So then they go, yeah, your body's nice. And then he said, here we go, guys. So... They always try and do this like guilt trip, trying to make the girl feel feel bad for him. And he says, 
please do good in school so that you have better future than me. Uh, oh, sorry. Just be better than me, okay? What's wrong with you? I will be homeless very soon. Why? Oh, money. Please study hard for a better future for yourself. So he's trying to be like Mr. Motivational Speaker now. Oh, sorry. Uh, homeless, I'm okay. I can sleep in my car. Aw, uh, just be, be, be good. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just feeling de depressed. I need someone to cuddle with. Ugh. So, yeah, then they, they start making plans when her, her granddad's going to be out of town. Right? Showering. All this other stuff. And he sends a pic. Here you go. Have, have, have you ever touched a guy's genitalia? All, all this other stuff. And, oh, here we go. He says about how he needs sex. And then he talks about how his wife isn't giving him any sex. And now they start to talk about coming, coming over. There, there's the address. And then here we go. Uh, have you ever seen Triple X movie before? <clears throat> no. Oh. Are they cool? Yes. I have none. <laughs> so he's like, have you seen these? I don't have any, though. No movie. I'm five foot five, 140 pounds. Nice. Yourself? You got picked? No. Aw, how tall are you, honey? I'm, f she says, I'm like four foot ten or four foot eleven. Cool. Wait, I'm like 95 pounds. Nice body. So this guy is five foot five, a hundred and, was it 45, 140 pounds. I haven't weighed 140 pounds since like grade school, I think, but I, I digress. And I know that people, uh, they want to feel bad for this guy because he's short and he's small. And, you know, obviously, you know, he's in a bad marriage from what he says. But guys, don't feel bad for this guy. He's a predator and he's a piece of trash. You know what I, you know what I mean? So he says, uh, he talks more about, like, stripping and dancing also. Like, he brings that up mul multiple times. And he says, uh, uh, oh, and he also talks about his ass a lot. I have a nice ass, though, right? He says, no, he says, I know you have nice ass, right? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I have okay butt. But up up the top, he says, yeah, that he has a nice ass. So, I don't know, guys. These decoys really, really deserve whatever money that they're getting paid. But let's just jump into the video here and see what Mr. On Lay gets himself into with Chris Hansen. Take me in your mouth. When that mu music starts, guys, we all know that it's going to be a good time. This is 39-year-old Juan Lee, who works in a printing shop. Juan Lee. Oops, sorry. I was saying it wrong. How are you? He politely leaves his shoes at the seat, takes off his shoes, the door. Perfect. Inside, he clearly likes our interior design. Wow, did you decorate this? <laughs> no. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This like a restaurant. <laughs> wow. This is cool. This, guys, this house it was really, really big, so. Lee, who's from Orlando, used the screen name Oral OO Fun <laughs> to chat with a decoy. <laughs> See, Chris Hansen said Oral instead of whatever, Orlando or whatever. Who told him she was 13. Despite the language barrier, he makes it clear what's on his mind. I would touching you all over your body. Would you let me? He sends her a picture of his genitals, and later referring to sex, he writes. You can ride me. I just wear the condom. 
Dang. And now that he's in the undercover house, the decoy wants to know if he brought those condoms. And for some reason, I don't really remember this decoy. I think she was only on, on one investigation. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really don't remember her. So maybe I need to start paying a little bit more attention to this particular sting. Because I've only seen this one a couple of times. Did you bring anything? No, I didn't. You didn't? I didn't stop by any place. Okay. You hear me go get it? No, it's okay. Yeah. Look at him, he's like, yeah, all right. My my diabolical plan to not stop by the corners, to not stop at the Walgreens, it paid off. What do you want to do? Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Chris Hansen, son. Look at, look at Chris Hansen's little, <clears throat> little swing around the corner here, watch. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? What you doing here tonight? Oh, she just invited me over to say hi. She invited you over to say hi. Did you bring condoms with you? No, sir. But just a moment ago, you offered to go get some. Yes. Once again, guys, there's a lot of guys that are very, that don't emote, emote with their faces very well. Like, like this guy's face, his expressions don't show emotion, but look at his eyes. Look at his eyes bugging out. He knows he's screwed. So what does that say about your intent? Maybe if she wanted. Maybe if she wanted to, the two of you would have had sex. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. You know that's against the law, right? Yes, it is. I know. Even now, Lee remains polite. Well, I'm Chris Hansen. Yes, I'm Juan. Yeah, Juan is shit. Yeah, he goes to shake his hand. <laughs> I'm Juan. How are you? <laughs> and let's just say guys that he thought that this is her dad or something right he, he shakes the hand of the dad excuse me the dad the hand of the dad of the girl that he was just trying to get with the underage girl man and i'm with dateline nbc and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet kids online for sex i i really apologize i understand okay then don't forget Lee your remembers. Shoes, Juan. Don't forget your shoes. His shoes. Hands on. And meets the Flagler Beach police outside. Hands up. They take him back to the station where he tells the investigators he sent pictures of his genitals and came to the house because he's missing something in his marriage. For oh, yeah. Now, since I'm married, I just don't have sex. I'm sorry to say that. I don't drink. I don't smoke, I don't party. You just troll for little girls on the internet. Uh-huh, you're an awesome guy there, Juan. Hey, I just go work. Jeez. Lee is charged with three felonies, including transmitting harmful materials to a minor. He later pleaded not guilty. How's he gonna plead? Ugh, these guys, they plead not guilty, even though they're caught dead to rights. And guys, I actually think that there is an interrogation that we can watch real fast because I don't think that it's too long. Usually if there's an interrogation, I try and break it into two parts. But let's just uh, jump into this while we have this here. Hey, how you doing? To the I'm magic of the internet Stated. and the magic of the Capening channel. And Charles Lee Love, thanks for the previous video. But let's, let's just jump into this, guys, while we're all here. And look at... Like I said, his face is not it. It's his eyes. He's like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Attorney's office. All right. You know, you have been arrested. Okay, you know, you are in custody. Okay? I need to get some information from you. Before I do, I'm going to read you your Miranda rights, okay? All right. You have the right to remain silent, and anything you say may be used as evidence against you. Do you understand that? You have the right to talk to an attorney and have him with you now or at any time during questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you. Do you understand that? If at any time you wish to stop talking or to have an attorney present, all questioning will be stopped at your request. Okay? Do you understand these rights? All right, with these rights in mind, are you willing to talk to me right now? And see if we can clear up a couple things? All right, all right. And you say you did or did not send any pictures? You did not? Okay. 
Oh, Juan, you are a liar. Yes, you are a liar. What's, uh, what's your last name, sir? L-E? And your first name? Oscar? O? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Guys, the sound on a lot of the interrogations is shit. So, like, yeah, this isn't on my. My end, this is just the interrogation sound, so yeah, we'll have to do our best here. What's your date of birth, sir? Uh, well, June 6th, Just had a birthday, huh? <laughs> Happy birthday, Juan! <laughs> Just had a birthday, huh? Yeah, and look and look where he is. Man, this is quite the present the present for you, Juan. Do you have a social security number? Oh, okay, what's that? How tall are you, sir? Uh, five five, sir. And what do you weigh? Brown eyes. Where were you born, sir? Uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. All right. Where do you work? I work for a, uh, print a print shop. Okay. Where at? Okay. What's the name of it, sir? Uh, Kinko. Kinko. Okay. He worked at Kinko's. Man, guys, I haven't seen Kinko's in so long. Man, oh man, that, I forgot all about them. Those were everywhere. I remember my older sister's first job was at Kinko's. Man, they aren't, do they go out of business? I think so, but man, they used to be everywhere. Kinko's copies, man. I remember back in high school, I had to make these big posters for this report. And I had to take them to Kink Kinko's and make like six big post posters. Kinko's copies. Oh, man. I haven't heard that name in years. What's your mailing address, sir? Okay, what city is that in? And the zip code there? Okay. You have a home phone number, sir? What's your cell number? Do you know your employer's address, sir? Okay. Do you know the phone number? Do you have any relatives here locally or any other residents? In Florida? Yes. Your mother? Okay. This is Investigator Floyd, and she's going to be talking to you for a little bit. Okay. Like I said, guys, it's always better in these interrogations when there's a woman there because a lot of these idiots are socially awkward around women anyways, and then... <laughs> 
here comes this woman sitting down and they're like, ah, and then she's reading, she's there while they're reading all this like crazy intimate stuff that they sent. And you just know that they got to feel like extra shit, you know, so. These rooms are very small. So is Juan. So he's good. Hi, like John said, my name is Leslie Floyd. I'm an investigator with the state attorney's office. Um, what is your first name? Wong? Wong. Spell it for me again. Okay. All right, well, Wong, why don't you tell me what what's going on? I know that you, you've been talking to a, to a girl on the Internet. Uh, what was her name? Jenna, okay. And how old was Jenna? On one page she said she's 13, but then another page she said she was 48? Where did you see that? Nice try, Juan. Nice try. You know damn well she didn't say she was 48. So he's trying to be like, okay, all right. I'm 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 in this cop car, and I'm driving over. So I need to think of of a story. I need to think of an excuse of what I can do. Okay, I asked her about her her great aunt, and she said that her great aunt was older. Okay, but how old? Okay, because that age is in there. So maybe they didn't see the thirteen part. Okay, hold on. I think she said forty eight, but was it older than that? Was it six? No, it couldn't be that old. It has to be four a forty-eight. Yeah, Juan, we got this. I got this. <laughs> okay. okay, so she was thirteen. So, um, how did you come to start talking to Jenna? How long have you been talking to her? About a week. Okay, and you you contacted her. She, we just talk back you just talked back and forth. What kind of things did you guys talk about? You overdid yourself? Like, explain that to me. Like what? Okay. In the wrong way. Tell me. Well, tell me about that. Tell me some of the things that you said to her. The upper part of her body. When you say the upper part of part of her body, are you talking about her breast? What did what kind of things did you talk to her about with her breast? I guess not really open, but that was more I know that he's that he's kinda of hard to hear, guys, but basically he's he's trying to fake like he doesn't remember what he said when he when he knows damn well what he's and everyone thinks that he either he's playing dumb or he doesn't understand what's going going on, but he understands what's going on. He might be acting friendly and acting polite, but look at him. He's trying to dodge this question. He's like, I think I talked a little bit about the upper part of her body. What did you say? Well, I don't really know what I said. I could, it could have been he knows what he's doing, you know. And this is proof that once again, these predators, they can, they can be black, white, Asian, nice, mean, tall, short. You don't, and they all have their own little different type of insidious methods here. But he, see, he's feigning ignorance, guys, but he knows what he's doing. He, he knows that he's in trouble and he doesn't want to seem like, like he's being combative, but he has a little bit of, of, of him trying to play dumb. You're not good at talk, but you're good at you're good at talking I, online. I can I can talk online, but I, you know when I talk to you like this, like, okay. Anybody, not even to like that. All right. Well, tell me, you you got in your car. You're from Orlando. Orlando, so you got in your car in Orlando and you drove to Flagler Beach. What did you plan to do when you got here? I don't know. 
You don't know? Oh, you liar. You fucking liar, you. On here, you told her that you wanted to touch her all over. You were worried that you might scare her. You want to know if she wants to be touched all over? That's what you say right before you come. Come down here. What is that what you were planning to do? If she let me. Okay, so today you got in your car and, and drove to Flagler Beach to meet a... Uh, a 13 year old girl and if she let you were you going to have sex with her is that what your intentions were so he said that was my in intention but i don't know if i could have done it or not right okay so if she if she would let you and if you were able to do it, then you are going to have sex with her. Okay. I'm not good at that. You're not? Oh, what do you mean by you're not good at that? I'm good at everything I do, but when it comes to male female, I'm not good at it. Okay, so you would have been nervous when you, when you met her. He said, I'm good at everything that I do, but I'm not good when it comes to females and all of that stuff. <laughs> what the? What does that even mean, dude? Come on. I'm with her. Okay. Did you bring condoms with you? No. Tell me about this picture that you sent her. <laughs> this strange woman goes, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> this strange woman goes, hey guy, and pulls up. <laughs> Can you imagine, imagine, put yourself in Juan's position here. And you're in this interrogation room. And they're grilling you with these que questions. You already know they have the chat log. And you, and th this woman that you don't know is holding a naked picture of your Johnson. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing at the situation. <laughs> oh, man. Oops. Tell me about that. When did you do that? <laughs> Last week? Okay, so why did you send this to her? This, it's a 13-year-old girl, and it's pictures of your genitals. What what was going through your mind when you did that? Yes, Juan, tell us why you did that. Yes, and how did you do that? So he said for years he doesn't he hasn't had sex. Okay, so since you haven't had sex in a year more than a year you and in the chat, he's like, I haven't had sex for so long. It's like I'm a virgin over here. That's what he says, too. Sent her these pictures. Just, what would you say, to relieve tension? I, I was just saying to you, um, it's because I get a lot of pressure from work. And I thought maybe it's just something I do to get out of my mind. Because my friend, you know, I don't. So he said that he felt a lot of pressure. And he doesn't smoke, he doesn't party party. Is Jenna the only um, girl under underage that you've been talking to? Guys, do you believe that? On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely do you think that that is? I think that's bullshit. Is she the only girl that you've ever gone to meet with that you've talked to on the internet? 
and she's the only 13 year old that you're talking to so if we went and looked at your computer we wouldn't find that you're talking to other other girls on there and, and we wouldn't find that So he says that he talks Mostly. to other people. So tell me about the ones that aren't adults. Okay, so just Jenna. And you said you you weren't gonna hurt. You didn't want to hurt her or anything like that. But did you think that it was okay to to go to her house tonight to have, with the intentions to have sex with her and send her nude photographs of yourself? I I send her, but when I do that, I keep her skin down. So I don't want to touch her. I. I Do you download any pictures of children on your computer? No. No. Wire. So guys, we can just stop this here. This and is the like pictures you transmitted were from your your home computer. Uh, the pictures that you sent. Her? Oh, that's a webcam. So it was like a video okay. then. Okay. Well, well, guys, we can just stop this this year because it goes on for. A little bit, but he's hard to make make out. And yeah, a lot of these these interrogations, the sound is just kind of me messed up. But I'll try and find versions that have better sound. But yeah, so this guy, he's a real piece of trash, and um, he took three years to finally plead guilty, and he actually. was a repeat offender. So, yeah, he took three years to plead guilty. And then he was convicted of attempted lewd and, lewd and lascivious battery sex with a victim 12 to 15 years old. Lewd, lascivious exhibition with a victim under 16 years old. And use of internet to solicit an attempt to solicit etc. A child for sex slash lewdness. Uh, and they were all felonies. He got 10 years of probation and a lifetime on the RSO. Now, that was in, two, in two, 2009. A couple years later, the neighborhood that he was in, I guess he was staring at young girls um, um, at the bus stop. So he would wait by the school bus stop and look at the little girls. So the neighbors tried to call the cops, but they said te technically he wasn't doing anything wrong. So people started posting his uh, sex offender um, posters everywhere. So he's just an all-around just piece of trash. And yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I will, like I said, in the future, try and find the better audio versions, if they're out there, of the interrogations. And if not, I'll just try and summarize what I can make out. But all right, you guys, this is AJ. You guys are the best. And I'm out of here.